What's up guys, welcome back to another Arc Dev Kit tutorial. This is a video I've wanted to make for a really long time and we're going to be covering how to implement a fully working time and weather system into your map. So a big shout out first of all to Glitched Matrix, his channel's in the description. He's really given me a hand with this one. We've been communicating quite a lot and sort of working on it together a little bit. And he ended up giving me a tip which he'd found out from somewhere, which led to the creation of what I'm about to show you which is how you're going to put the fully working time and weather system into it. And now, let's get on with it. So, the way we're going to be implementing this is I've made a level called basic world underscore A. And I've uploaded that level to Dropbox, and there'll be a link to that in the description. What you can do is download that level and put it into your Arc Dev Kit folder, which I'll show you how to get to in a second. And then you can make that the persistent level of any map that you've created so far, and it should add the time and weather system into your map. So what this level contains is the entire weather system, including the blueprint that controls it, all of the lighting, the dirt plane and water plane and the water post processing for any map, everything to do with the bosses, so all of the spawn points and post processing, and then a few other little bits as well. What I've done with the water plane in this is I've turned it into a continuous one so it doesn't have the holes that Wildcard put in it for their caves. If you wanted to, you could take this and put it in a program like Blender or something and make your own holes for caves. But for now, this is just a nice clear one with no holes in it. And, you know, as far as you can see, it's just water. So what you could do with this is download it and then start building your map in this level. As you can see, in this little folder here, there's also a landscape level, which is just blank that you can use for a landscape. And there's the obelisks as well, which is all of the data for the obelisks, which you can move around and copy and paste. And these are all gonna, these are all gonna be going up on Dropbox, so you'll have access to all of them. So what you could do now is create a landscape in this level, or you know, make a new level for your landscape, and then do all your sculpting, your painting, your rocks, your trees, and create a new map with this level as your persistent level. That will mean that you'll always have the time and weather in it, and that's pretty self-explanatory and you basically just use this as a blank canvas to build on. Or I'm now going to show you how to add this level into an existing map so that you get the time and weather and anything you might need for the bosses implemented as well. So let's get in with that now. So what we're going to do is you can see here I've got the basic world that I made. I've got it in my dev kit already. But if I didn't, I can go into Explorer and in my Dropbox, you can see I've got this folder here. So what I'm going to do is, as I just want the weather for my existing map, I'm going to click on basic world underscore empty and copy it. Obviously, you guys would be doing this from your desktop or downloads folder or something. Just doing it from Dropbox is a bit easier for me. And now I'm going to go to my Arc Dev Kit folder. Now I've got it saved in a specific place. If you've got it in the normal place where it automatically installs itself, it will be in your local disk, which is your C drive. Program files 86 and you should be able to find it in there. I've got it saved on separate hard drives. So I'm going to go to that now Here we go, so this is my arc dev kit folder once you're in this to get to the content browser stuff You're going to go to projects shooter game Content and here we are. This is everything that's in your content browser So let's go to mods and tutorial map which is the map that we've been working on in these tutorials, and I'm just going to paste the file now. There we go. And let's rename it quickly so we don't get confused. That's obviously very important. And there we go. That's all sorted. So now if we go back into the dev kit, you can see that basic world underscore empty has popped up in here. And all we're going to do is open this. There we go. So obviously it looks exactly the same because it's pretty much a copy of what we had before. So I'm just going to close down all these folders. We go and you can see obviously we've got our weather in here. Keep that closed as well. There we go. So now there's a couple of bits that we need to do. So we're going to rename these quickly. So water plane, hit F2 to quickly rename something. Call it water plane new. Okay, and then the post processing, F2 new. Dirt plane, same thing. Call it new. And then the starting camera, that's not really an issue. So the reason we're doing this is because we're about to load in the rest of the levels in this folder. And if you remember, our tutorial map persistent level already has some of this stuff in. 
like the water plane and the post processing for the water and the dirt plane as well, of course. Now, we don't want to use them anymore because what we've got here is the dirt plane and water plane and post processing that's referenced in the blueprint for the weather. So you don't want to start messing that around and mess up the blueprint by deleting these new ones. So we're going to load in the rest of the levels now. And now we have to delete all of the duplicates. So here we've got our dirt plane from the last map. Get rid of it. And then the global post process blueprint. Got a new one of them in the lighting folder. So get rid of it. Atmospheric fog. Don't need it. Get rid of it. Our old water plane. Don't need it. Get rid of it. Our old sky sphere. Once again, don't need it. And as you can see, it's starting to look a little bit clearer now. Now we're getting rid of all the duplicates of things. Here we've got a new dirt plane and all the level boundaries. Now here we have our post-processing volume. We want to delete that, but I've got mine attached to my physics volume for the water. And I don't want to delete that because there wasn't one of them in the level I made. So I'm going to delete this post-processing only, and that should leave the physics volume there. And we've got our new water plane and the new post-processing. So. That should be everything that you need to delete. And now we're just going to do a couple more bits so that we can see that the new weather system and time system is working properly. Let's get down into our map. Let's check we've got a player start point, which we do. And now let's open the blueprint for the persistent level. This is the blueprint that I've edited and it should come in the level with you guys. So let's chuck that up there. And as you can see, it looks a little bit more organized than the other one. Let's just go down to here and we're just going to check these boxes. You don't have to do this, it's just for tutorial purposes. And I'm going to make it so that it rains when we spawn in. And that means that we'll definitely be able to check that it's all working because it'll be raining. But I'll skip forward in time so you'll be able to see that the time's working and it'll be raining so you'll know there's weather too. So now let's hit play and see what happens. Okay, that's not ideal obviously. Let's try that one again, make sure our player start is in the proper place. Okay, so let's just add a new player start. Nice and simple, just make sure it all works okay. And when we're doing it in the dev kit, I tend to chuck them up in the air a little bit just to make sure you don't clip through anything. Let's hit play again. So here we go, we've spawned in, it's raining, it's sunny, you can see up in the top left we've got a temperature and we've got the time moving as well. So let's just speed that up a little bit. You can see that time does properly move. Oh, hit a few frame drops, there we go. And now let's set the time of death. Just so you can see there is different times of day. Here we go, midnight, you can see the rain a bit better now. Get out of slow-mo, that looks a little bit weird. There we go. Now this is by far the easiest way I've found of implementing a weather system so far. And that folder for the basic world should be on Dropbox now. So there'll be a link in the description for it, download it, install it in the dev kit folder and you'll be good to go. Now I really hope this has helped you guys out. If it has, please leave a like and subscribe. And of course comment if you have any questions or if there's anything else that you wanna see. So we're kind of nearing completion of the basic mapping tutorials now. Next couple of videos will be going over things like ground clutter to get that grass effect and stuff. But soon we're going to move on to some different aspects of modding as well, which would be good fun. We can make some funky things. But for now, I hope this video did help you guys out and I'll see you in the next one.